So wait, is that like fur that she's wearing? Is a PETA activist gonna throw blood on her? <laughs> he just does it in his briefcase, <laughs> just opens it up and it's a Nickelodeon slime geyser. <laughs> I don't think anybody would say poo on a 1950s sitcom, by the way. No, it's Hell too no. risque. They couldn't even say pregnant. Yeah, well, well, if we can't show a toilet, what makes you think they're gonna say poo, even in a, like, oh no instance? What is this? The fucking shitcoms thing, too, with the TV? Oh god, there? this is gonna look so meta! Oh no! Or is this TV just somebody, TV. Is this just on somebody's upload? Oh no. No, no it's not. <laughs> So wait, she's probably in stuff. Whoa, Ray Bradbury, author of Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> oh man, Charles Bronson. I don't know. Oh man, Julie Benz, porn star of the same name. Oh shit, downtown Julie Brown. Oh man, Danny Trejo. <laughs> Holy shit, it's Darcy. I was actually gonna say that dude looked like fucking. What's that name? Uh, the guy that you confused with Ray Campanella, Alan Sherman. <laughs> Roy Campanella. Yeah. Are we supposed to be able to follow what's happening Wait, in this what? intro? Oh man, they have like some weird Instagram filter happening. This is as long as the fucking open all night theme. Oh my Jesus. god, it is still boring. Yeah, it explains the entire plot. That's why I'm not following it. ding a ding a ding a ding Something on something in a 50 sitcom. Something in peeled potatoes. But now they're really in the future now. Whoa, that's a hell of a name. And if you want to ask me out on a date. Is that Darla? Darla? What? Darla from, from the Angel? Rascals? Oh. oh, from Angel? Yeah, oh, from I think Beethoven. it is. Beethoven's second, I believe, is when Darla was featured. Oh, a female puppy. Anybody? Yeah. Thank you. I'm just so fascinated that that's Darla. You know, back on your show, you dated all sorts of Like that boy with a big Jesus. Wow. I deserve it. If you're going out with other people, you go out with me, too. You went out with that dirty, dirty heave. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm, I forget that I'm the guy in the 90s now. <laughs> what? Did, what? Was this in the 90s? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she's the 1950s daughter, and he's the 1990s son. Yeah, as evidenced by his pocket tee and mulleted head. That looks kind of like Michael J. Fox. I was just going to say that. But also... Except I was going to say the wrong name, Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> The mullet. You, you know you're from a 1950s <laughs> sitcom Foxworthy. when your schools are segregated. Oh. <laughs> now, he looks like a cross between, ironically, Michael J. Fox and uh, Crispin Glover. Uh, Kinda, yeah. Do the dance from Friday the 13th, part 4! Dickhead! The correct of the entire cast while they were trying to film that Dancing story. to Back in Black, but you had to change it for the movie. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was the guy from Unhappily Ever After, the guy that talks to the bunny in the basement. Oh. But it's not him. I can't remember yeah. that guy's name right now. Jeffrey. Tambor. No. From the Ropers. <laughs> and Arrested Development fame. And Transparent. Yes. There's a soul in there! <laughs> Wait, he got a gift for his wife? Is that what's happening? Is that because she's right there? Hey, what's happening? You got a gift for his is wife or something? Yeah, it's... Okay. Is it one of those giant plug-in vibrators from the 50s? That boy ain't right. I thought she had, like, massive cleavage for a second. <laughs> for the 50s? Come on. <laughs> that sausage roll? Nah. Man, she is wearing an awful lot of green. Is it St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> wow, they really let that joke breathe, and it was just like, ha ha ha. Oh, still, ha ha What? Why would What's they know what a rerun is? Yeah, we've all yeah. seen, we've all seen Back to the Future. We know how this works. Get used to these bars, kid. Yeah, she, does not know how, right? she does not know how to peel potatoes. She's no... Shit, what was his name that we were just talking about from fucking Open All Night? When he had to, like, peel potatoes in the military? Oh, I was gonna say the asleep. fucking Gordon Ramsay or, or the Bam guy. Oh, Gordon Ramsay. The Bam guy. Viva La Bam. Yeah, yeah Bam Margera. <laughs> These colors are vivid! I get it, though, because in 1950s, they had to paint everything really, really vivid colors so they look right in black and white television. So when you see 
colorized I Love Lucy footage. All the colors are like crazy it's like bright. A, it's like a fucking mm. Suspiria or a sitcom. <laughs> Everything's like sounds like mono all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. that's you're oh, the time. oh no, because I'm from the 1950s. <laughs> oh my god! I was just gonna say because you have mono. Oh. Sounds like somebody's done. Sounds like somebody's got a lot of saliva in his mouth. No. Need one of those dentist tubes in between takes. To Is she a female Ghostbuster? Right? <laughs> Is she the sister from Roseanne? Dar Dar Darlene? Though. The audience is like, uh, it's like, it's like the Flintstones can laughter, but like they turn down all the <laughs> yeah. volume. What's this? Oh, hold on a minute. Shit, is she seriously? Look at that button. Yeah. Is she like from a pedophile? I think thing? she's a feminist. Yeah, that's a feminist. Sorry. Yeah, she's got a fist in the, the female. Oh, shit. Wait, it has movable jaws? Why would they put that? For fun. In a, in For fun, a coat? Please. Another Ghostbusters Still thing on. is like when that woman's mink come, ra like came back to life and ran away from oh, her. Oh yeah. She's cooking you dinner right now. Why are you mocking her so? I don't know. I'm just hoping that they get a, a production assistant in there to mop off all of his saliva from that, that coat. They're all gonna need those fucking DX face shields with those <laughs> little viper blades. Oh, that's Wait, why the hell did that jacket just stand up on its own? Because <laughs> it's alive. That's another thing the show used to do. Every episode has guest stars from 1950s and 1960s sitcoms. Like, but old? Re revising their roles. Yeah. Oh, no. Rams needs to be fucking... There it is. Yeah, like, so maybe... Are we gonna see Lucy Bob Cray... Oh, wait, never mind. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it! Hot picture phone! I'll get it! Uh-huh. <laughs> You're not a real woman if you don't think for yourself the way I tell you to think for yourself. Yeah. I'm just gonna talk to her all about the free bleeding movement. <laughs> That's where her sweater color came from. Oh shit! Uh... Hey yo, I'm like a rough, wet behind the ears kid. <laughs> like, I'm Eddie Haskell. I'm Tiny Dice Clay. <laughs> He doesn't do a bad acting job, actually. He's really convincing with the faces, but he sounds I like weird. His shirt. Is it anthrax? Some, I don't know. Some Death kind of leopard. Weird. God, that guy just looks like a putz. <laughs> he totally he just, is. He looks like a slouch. Just the way you Oh, I think he wished them into existence. I think that's what happened. Well, if we had watched the pilot, yeah, we Mark. would know. So is this the guy that AJ from the Backstreet Boys played? Michael J. Corey Feldman? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, right. No, I think he was Oh, God, what a fast ah. zoom. <laughs> just a miss. Ah, uh, we got it. <laughs> With all the tropes. I'm home! <laughs> so, like, is TV, like, their reality then? Like, other oh. TV shows are what actually happens? It's all canon. Uh, so, okay, if you're in the, if you're from the 50s, you watch TV and you're like, all of this is real. But, but if you're if in this from... decade, then it's like, oh, it's on the internet, so it must be real. But wait, if they're from the 50s, I thought Jillian's... I'm home! It wasn't until, like, the 60s. I'm home! I'm home! <laughs> but I'm home! <laughs> Man, they really are killing us these fast zooms. It's the same house! Why do we need so many establishing shots? Oh, they have separate beds? Yeah, separate beds. And they're super tiny, too. Like, not even to scale as, like, regular 1960s like, TV like, beds. It's like Tom and Jerry cartoons. I'm home. With where he's sleeping in a matchbook. Oh, yeah. I'm home. I'm home. <laughs> we got it, Mark. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Slow. Why is she sleeping in her clothes? Dude, his voice is so terrible. 
Nobody from that time period talked this, like, exaggerated. Wait, is her actual name Honey? I don't want to No, honey. No. <laughs> Does this end with her like getting a divorce? Or... Yeah. And, uh, are we supposed to just hate him? Yeah. Like, who or is it a joke? Or are we supposed to like, oh, he's a product of his environment? Yeah. Should we really be like laughing at this? Yeah. Or be more like, is this a very special shit comes? I didn't realize. Sh very special shit comes series. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're season. Just like that baby you got in there. It's either her or me. So what's it gonna be? I'm a lesbian. Well. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Whoa! The joke was so him. bad. They cut unless that was like a commercial break. I don't know. And this is just a weird edit. I can't be your friend anymore. Sorry. <laughs> my husband's abusive. What's my deal with this? Mine? Look me in the eye and tell me that. Mine? Look me no, in my third eye. And oh tell shit! Me. All right, I'll tell you the truth. Mine has nothing to do with it. She even looks like Julie Brown, but not downtown Julie Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Other Julie yeah, no, you're talking about redheaded Julie Brown. Mm -hmm. From Strip Mall fame. Strip Mall, uh, Homecoming Queen's Got a Gun, the Pulp Fiction parody Plump Fiction. Oh, yeah. She's in like a sketch comedy series like from Canada, I think. Too. Yeah. Not Kids in the Hall, not SCTV. The other one. The other one no one talks about. <laughs> the Julie Brown one. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, way to empower her as a woman there. Th this being a 90, you can tell that this isn't done today. Mm. Because, yeah, there's no empowerment. It's like, you are making the wrong choices yeah. entirely, rather than, you realize he's being very controlling. She's of. just as bad. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> she just kicked her out. It's all ultimatums. <laughs> Everyone's just giving her ultimatums. Oh, damn. And fast zooms. Oh, it's like a fucking, what did you, Shogun Assassin? Man. Stop laughing at that. It's the third episode. No one's sick of this yet? Do you not have a house of your own? Urkel? <laughs> Our cheese date? Yeah, I'm gonna play accordion and rap about guns. Oh god, yeah. Why does a t-shirt have such long sleeves? Cause 90s is cool. <laughs> god, it's... Why, yeah, why do, he, look, <laughs> he looks too old for the role. Yeah, he yeah. really does. He's supposed Dress to, him down. <laughs> this looks like they dressed like a 23-year-old man up as, a, as like a 13-year-old. Yeah. If we can't be friends with our frame rate, I can't be your <laughs> friend either. <laughs> no, it's fucking Richie fuck from uh, Christmas Story. <laughs> <gasps> She's singing the blues. Get it? What was funny about that? Cuz. Uh, and it gets a little long, though, actually, wasn't it? You see that nerdy stereotype? He's just walking around with a microscope. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I, I've always wondered, oh, really, is he? Yeah, yeah it's like a, a tiny, microscope. like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, anyway, but, oh, shit. Yeah, he really did have a microscope. Oh, my God. Come on, get my microscope. Yeah, see, see, look, right so, there. <laughs> is that like an, oh, it's a telephone, okay. I was, oh, no. Is this how it starts? Oh, no. Wow, Adobe Gillis oh. reference. I'm home. Dude. Someone's home. <laughs> Honey. Honey, I'm a waiter at McDonald's. <laughs> or some weird McDonald's family McDonald's in like chain. a 70s commercial. Oh, it's... Um, uh, oh, it's... Uh, 
hold on. I recognize both of them vaguely. By this point, a dead <laughs> baby. Oh, Jesus. Are they That's really it. trying to pretend that they're still the yeah. age? Yeah, yeah. Say, I'm pretty sure that, that old Ralph was driving the big bus in the sky by this point. <laughs> he bribes a dust in heaven now. <laughs> now she's cosplaying as Janine from Ghostbusters. <laughs> Abusive douchebags? We've got one! Oh, God. <laughs> What? We're gonna do this trope now? Is that a new catchphrase? Oh, Hi, the... honey, I'm drawing the line! So they're gonna do like the whole drawing the line down the center of the house. Oh, uh, I love Lucy. And dozens of other fucking shows, I'm sure. Who am I to say he's wrong? Okay. I see your point, and uh. Yeah. I'll get back. Whoa, goddamn. Honey Houdini. Fifty Shades of okay. Grey. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, he is a controlling asshole. Oh, and yeah. gray. What? 50s television. Oh. I'm just gonna let myself out now. Can you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? She's apologizing for having been yeah, a victim sure. in an abusive relationship. Oh, Stop. Pick between this abusive relationship and this abusive relationship. Or my pizza was free. Okay. <laughs> Just give it up, Evan. 